Well, this is another fun example. Uh, this this data set was uh, this was taken from our federal parliament. Uh, from we have a thing called Hansard, which is a transcript of of all the debates in in parliament. And um, again, this uses this uses folder tags. So uh, what I did is in text processing settings, I turned on a thing called folder tags. And to take advantage of that, this data is structured. Um, so if I go and find this data here in my, yeah. So for this data set, what I did, I created a parent folder called stem cell data. And I knew, you know, I, what I wanted to do, I, got, I went and got all the, the federal parliament uh, transcripts um, about a stem cell debate, about a bill. And because the trans, because Hansard, the transcripts tell me which party they belong to, I put them into folders. So all the Labour politicians, their speeches, I put them into a folder called Labour. Liberals, I put them in a folder called Liberal. And then Nationals and the Independents, same deal. And you can actually see that under there, each of these files has a name, which is the name of the politician that spoke that particular speech. So this is a way that we can get all this information to Lexamancer pretty easily. Just by putting, putting my files into folders, I can let Lexamancer know that all the text from these particular articles um, is from national party politicians and will be coded as such just by putting these documents into folders on your disk. Uh, and you can have multiple levels of folder. So here I've got just the, for the party and the files are put into the folder by party. But I could have grouped these, these into, into um, folders by were they uh, country electorates or city electorates? And then you know, put the national politicians into a country or a city folder. So that then we could have multiple levels of sort of, of a dimension or, or metadata. And uh, so long as I turn on folder tagging, which again is here in the text, text uh, processing, um, folder tagging there, I can then get uh, this sort of effect. So I can see on the map, I can put my variable for the labor folder and I can see what, what's, what are they near to. You know, they're, they're talking more about people and debate uh, than other things. That's the emphasis. Whereas the Liberal Party looks like they're talking more about uh, research and human life and you know, cloning and questions around that. Ethical beliefs, morals, questions. Um, whereas Labour Party, if I look for those, those uh, loaded concepts, um, I would look here for, um, well, let's, let's reveal all the concepts. So I can see important, uh, I can see hope, um, I can see need, um, so, and conscience vote. So I think hope, hope is, is kind of like I would flag that. There's a, there's a definite sentiment around there. What, I, what I'd be looking for here is, is the, the emotional or the affect um, sen points of sensitivity. Um, so there's a sense here of, of perhaps this is important and there's hope or it would offer hope. Um, I can see able there, I can see community. Whereas over here, I've got question. I've got ethical beliefs, um, morals, um, human life. Obviously there's a hot button around there all by itself. So what I'm trying to work out here during my sense making is what's the frame? What's the frame that, that the Liberal Party politicians have agreed? How are they framing this piece of legislation? Um, as opposed to the, the, the opposition party, the Labour Party. And Lexamance is really good for identifying um, really subtle and complex frames that are being deployed by expert communicators. And politicians are expert communicators. There's no simple favourable, unfavourable here. There's um, liberal politicians who are ostensibly talking about the science, but what, they, what they, they're talking about question um, so how are they, how, so liberal politicians talk about question quite a lot. And how are they talking about that? Well, let's have a look. Um, 
you know, what system of ethics to apply? The great question, unresolved question, unresolved question, um, unresolved questions. So they are deploying a frame which appears to be addressing the science, but seems to be undermining the science at the same time. Whereas the Labour Party are not so much talking about the science because I think you could, you could hypothesize that they have regarded it as um, a, a bit of an ethical minefield. So they're, they're looking at what it could offer to pe people in terms of hope for the future. Um, so frame, is, frame is, is a much better way of understanding these sorts of emotional, uh, emotionally manipulative strategies than just positive or negative sentiment. Because in the end, what, is, what really is positive sentiment? What does it actually mean? Um, so I, I'm much more in favour of, of looking at, at frames for these sorts of ideas.